In today's video, I will discuss three mistakes all building owners should avoid when they register their rent-regulated apartments with HCR. As a bonus, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how you actually enter your data on the HCR website. Before we start, what is annual registration? Annual registration is the, is the registration of rent-regulated properties with HCR. HCR is the Agency for Homes and Community Renewal, which enforces the state's rent regulation laws through the Office of Rent Administration. Registering your rent-regulated properties gets complicated when you have special programs like Section 8, SCRI, and DRI. Complicated is actually an understatement. It gets downright stressful because making a mistake can lead to penalties. So let's get started with mistake number one. Not keeping your rent roll updated. The most important advice I can give you is to include all the data HCR asks for in your rent roll and then keep your rent roll updated throughout the year. That means whenever a tenant leaves or a new one moves in, update all their data in the rent roll right away. This way, when it's time to register your apartment, all the data is right there in your rent roll. If you want to know more about what a rent roll is, look at my video, Three Critical Reports to Measure Your Property's Health. When you really think about it, the HCR registration is really a rent roll for your rent-regulated apartments. Whenever you prepare a vacancy lease or renew a tenant's lease, Record all the following information so you have it ready when annual registration time rolls around. Keep records for each apartment for the following. Number one, the lease start date. Number two, the lease end date. Number three, the legal regulated rent. Number four, if the tenant is paying a preferential rent, then keep a record of that. Number five, the actual payment. Number six, if the tenant is in a program like Section 8, SCRI, or DRI. And finally, number seven, if it's a renewal lease or a vacancy lease. Now, let's actually take a look at how all this works in practice. Okay, so this is a screen recording of how we're going to do the HCR annual registrations online. I know in the past I've had some clients whose buildings we manage who used to do everything through paperwork and then mail it in. But I just find it so much easier to have it all done on the website. So I'm going to add in um, my user credentials to log in. Okay. And then once we log in, you'll see that there's uh, many different things that you can actually do on this uh, website, uh, like uh, do rep uh, reports, and you can take care of your uh, individual apartment improvement notifications or your maximum based rent applications and other things. But we're just going to focus on the annual rent registrations, which is over here. We're going to select that. Then we're going to go into applications. And then uh, since we're in 2021, we're going to select 2021. It's already selected. I have all the buildings listed over here with the building registration numbers. So uh, you can see that the application is in progress. And if you click select over here, this is the information for the actual building itself. So uh, you'd have to put in over here the, if you hit edit, you can put in the uh, who the managing agent is and their phone number and their address and their email address. And then here, it's going to tell you uh, what kind of a property you have. You're going to have to select that. And then over here is going to be the type of units. If you have rent controlled, rent stabilized, or uh, anything else. Now we're going back to annual registrations. And we're going to go here where it says apartments because we want to actually 
make the changes that have occurred during the year from 20 to 2020 to 2021. So we're going to look at the apartments for how we registered. These are all the apartments that we registered and they have this, all the configurations that we in, entered, the data that we entered last year. So uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, update for this year. So in order to update, I'm going to hit select over here. So uh, when we hit select, you get all these tabs that give you different options. The first tab is the street number and the name and the apartment number. So once you enter that, you just click update. Uh, with the tenants, if you have any new tenants, maybe new tenants moved in or uh, somebody moved out and it's vacant, you'd enter all that information in here and then click update. Exempt status is if you have a type of building, uh, you would click the checkbox. For example, if you have an SRO building, you click this checkbox over here and then click update. And then this tab is an important tab. It's any changes in rent. So you'd put in your legal regulator rent in here. You'd put in, if you have a preferential rent, you'd enter it in here. If you have any kind of programs like SCREE, TREE, Section 8, click that checkbox. And here you put the uh, begin the beginning when the uh, lease begins and when it expires, or if it's a uh, if it's a lease renewal, you click this checkbox, or if it's a vacancy, you check click click the, on this checkbox, and then you click update again. For individual apartment improvements, if you have any improvements that you make to the apartments, you enter it in here. If you got any new appliances or anything like that. And then the last tab is just who the managing agent is or the building owner and the information for that person. Okay, so we're going to go back to annual rent registrations. All right, so the last thing that I want to show you is that once you enter in all the information, see right now it's in progress. Once you are done entering all the information for that building, then you would have to submit. But uh, whatever you do, do not click on submit until you're done entering all the information and you're 100% sure that's correct. Very important. And be careful when you click on this delete button. You don't want to delete any information that you enter. So that's a general overview of how we do annual rent registrations. Moving on to mistake number two. Don't cut it close to the deadline. If you're very organized, then you don't need a lot of time. But if you are slacking off during the year, give yourself at least a week to prepare your tenant information before entering the data into the HZR website. I say that because if you're in this predicament, you probably have to look through all your leases to collect the information. This is tedious work and could take some time. Mistake number three. Don't avoid communicating with HZR if you have questions. We found HCR to be responsive to all our questions. They typically respond to email within a two-day window. We've also spoken to representatives at the HCR offices, and they are very helpful. We hope this video was informative. We are Premises Guardian, a property management company located in New York City. We specialize in managing multifamily buildings. If you are a landlord in the New York metropolitan area, Come to the Landlord's Workshop and meet us in person. Relax with refreshments and sandwiches while premises guardian property managers present a complimentary workshop on running your buildings more efficiently and profitably. This is a fun, easygoing way for you to ask some questions or learn from questions others ask. The workshop is free of charge, but the maximum number of participants is limited to 15. Registration will be on a first come first served basis. To register, please sign up on our website.